I'm about to take you on a 13 day journey through the heart of Kenya, from the border of Tanzania in Kilimanjaro at the southernmost point, to the bustling, culture rich city that is Nairobi, all the way up to Amboseli National Park, home to a vastly rich and diverse flora and fauna species. Hello, good morning, Jumbo, as they say here, where I am currently. Well, if my incredible Swahili knowledge hasn't given it away, I'm actually in Kenya. So yeah, we are here at Abadir National Park in Abadir Country Lodge. But yeah, I've got some pretty cool things planned. Um, and yeah, really, really excited to show you what's on offer. So we have arrived, check this place out. This is the Sarova Shava Lodge in the Shava National Park. This place is absolutely insane. We've just come up here to the restaurant for some lunch as soon as we got in. I'll try and um, show you the outside there in a second. But yes, this place is absolutely insane. There is a river that runs all the way along over there. Um, and there's elephants and stuff walking in the background. We've just been taken to our uh, accommodation, which is over there, which is like, Absolutely insane, it's like traditional African, what you'd think about, African like huts, like luxury huts in the heart of a game reserve, absolutely stunning. Day two of the game drive, we're going to Buffalo, spring is again today. finished our game drive but we told there'll be a bit of a surprise today and if you can see behind us over here we have sundowners this evening which is amazing which is a table with food and drinks and stuff laid out as we watch the amazing sunset African sunshine soon you warm you watch rise African river water we dance and live from morning light African sunshine, Africa river water, we look a smile life. We are leaving the beautiful Sharoba Shabagay Lodge for the Ark today. It's a beautiful day for driving. We're going to be driving through the lovely plains of Africa and towards towards the Ark Hotel, which is supposed to be one of the best one of the best viewing points for uh, animals straight off the back of the lodge. So. Really, really looking forward to that. So we have stopped off here in Caribou. We're in yet another amazing looking marketplace. There is even bigger than the last one. There's thousands and thousands of different things you can buy. But we have a workshop here where all the guys are making all the stuff, Hello. which is super hey. cool. Hello. Hey guys. Hello. Wow, look at these. Spin these around. So we've just made it to the Ark Hotel. We are in our rooms. This place is absolutely incredible. As I said, like every other place. But this place is especially cool because I am looking out my window of my amazing room and there is a watering hole just there and I can see loads and loads of different animals. This is incredible, just from our window. I guess you can tell why it's called the Ark now, maybe because it's shaped like an Ark. Uh, but this is incredible. So we've got this walkway bridge thing up from where we parked all the way down to here, um, all the way to the Ark. So, Game drive 
goodness knows which one, six, seven, eight. First one in the Kuru National Park. We've had some time to relax, have some lunch, chill out in our awesome huts overlooking, well, the amazing scenery and lake over there. Does it get boring going on the game drives? Absolutely not. Am I just excited every time I go on a game drive? Absolutely yes. Every time we go on a game drive, it's a new opportunity to see a new animal in a new scenery, in a new habitat, in a new surroundings, in a completely different scenario as last time. So it is just as exciting every time. We have no idea what we're gonna see, what to expect. Stop just after the amazing art accommodation, uh, and now we, we're uh, put a little demonstration going on over here um, because we are on the equator. Ooh, oh. Okay, so let's go to the northern hemisphere. This is <laughs> if this is if this actually works, it's gonna be so weird. We put the indicator on the water. Here's the indicator. So it should go counter. It goes clockwise. Clockwise here. Yeah. Direction. Now we are doing it from the south. 10 meters south of Ikita. As I did to the north, I was just requiring the water from the jack to the bow. Here it changes the direction. That's awesome. Okay, we're doing it on the line now. On the equator now, we get zero, zero degrees. You see? No turning anywhere, neither clockwise or counterclockwise. And the water is still draining from the bowl, the jar. Just another prime reason why you have to go up to Kenya. Is there anywhere else you can have breakfast like this? I'm not too sure. Sorry, I'm a bit slow this morning because it is outrageously early. It is 4.30. 4.35, if you want to be really precise, um, and we have a very, very special, very early morning activity planned. Um, I'm not going to say any more, um, but this is something I've been looking forward to since the start of the tour. <sighs> mm. Now I'm ready. Sign my life away. As I said, amazing sunrise happening over here. They're pumping up the hot air balloon over here. Yes. So 
we are done. That is got to be one of the most relaxing hours of my life. Just sailing through, sailing through the plains of Kenya, the Masai Mara Reserve, with these guys in a balloon was just incredible. Um, and now we flew pretty low across the ground um, and this is one of only two areas in the whole world where you can do that for so long, obviously because there is no power lines, no roads really, nothing around for miles. presentation dance example by the Masai Mara and they've done their whole jumpy thing which was absolutely amazing really really cool to see um, and we had a little chat from the head chief of the local Masai Mara tribe around here um, and it was really really interesting to hear what they have to go through as teenagers um, especially teen boys uh, to become part of the tribe um, absolutely incredible uh, wow <laughs> Hi, Masa Maragone Reserve. What an absolutely incredible experience this was. Wow, it's been on my bucket list for so long. Masa Mara, Kenya. Something that you must, you must do when you're here in Kenya. Right, onwards. Well, hey, so we finally made it to Amboseli National Park. Now we're here at our accommodation. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Oh, no, it's fine, I will. It is... Ola Tukai Kilna. Here's the front of my room. Got a lovely little outside space just to chill. And look at my amazing view, which you can see the uh, reflection of in the window there. But how often do you see migration of the wildebeest outside your front room with Mount Kilimanjaro in the background. Absolutely incredible experience we're having right now. We've got the uh, four Maasai families over here with 120 people in all four put together. So you can, and well, you can imagine the size of the families. We've got the clear sky with Mount Kilimanjaro in the background. It is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Time to say goodbye today. I didn't want to go. Um, luckily for me, it's not my last tour. I've still got some fun things in the pipeline. So be sure to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button below. Turn on the alerts. Bye from me. Bye from Kenya. Bye from Kilimanjaro. And bye from the beautiful sunrise. This is just one of over 250 tours provided by over 100 operators in Kenya. So there's something for absolutely everyone. From hotels and resorts to overlanding and camping, it's almost impossible to choose. But I'm sure you'll find the perfect one, even if you're as bad at choosing as I am.